Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make text shake. So basically if you want to have like an awesome outro like says like subscribe here and you want to spice it up with like some music and some, some cool effects and you know like shaking text. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so as you can see I have Vegas open as always. So the first thing you want to do is you want to add in some text. So we're gonna click on media generators as always and then we're gonna click on titles and text. You want to drag that into your timeline and you want to type in the text that you want to shake. So let's say you want to have like subscribe or something. So we can just type in subscribe. And now we're going to make it a little bit bigger, of course. So we're going to select it and we can just going to drag it a little bit taller. Let's like pick out a cool font. Let's see cool fonts. That's the cool font. So we're going to close this out. So the thing to make it shake is it really easy. So you just want to drag it as actually as long as you want it. So let's say like drag it to here. Now the part of making the text shake is actually pretty easy. So you want to click on this little icon which says track motion. You want to click on that and then this window pops up. So we want to drag it a little bit, you know, below it so, so we can still see our text. And so we're going to work with keyframes and basically um, I'm going to show you guys what keyframes are basically. I'm just going to put it right here. So I make it a little bit bigger. This little timeline at the bottom. So let's say you want to have your keyframe number one still. And you want to have like right here. And you want to have your text rotated. If you play it back, it just rotates. As you can see, that's what it does. To make it shake, we're just going to make really short keyframes and put them in different positions so, they, so it goes crazy, right? So I'm going to click back on this icon. I'm going to just um, delete that little keyframe. So, and here we start. So you can choose how many space there is between um, keyframes so you can like adjust the speed of the shaking. But I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Okay, so let's start off. We wanna start off with the first keyframe which is already in here. And we wanna just wanna click on the next one right here or something. And then we just wanna rotate our text like a little bit. So it's gonna rotate like that. And then what you wanna do, so we have one keyframe, you wanna put it to the right. As you can see, we wanna have like an arrow, um, like one space between actual keyframes. So I'm just gonna put the, so I'm gonna just uh, press on the uh, right arrow key. That means that we have like this small space in between. You can choose, you know, the, the distance. So that's actually adjusts the speed. Let's say we wanna have, you see like this, we wanna turn it a little bit more like that. And you just wanna just click on the keyframe, one to the right, as you can see, we just wanna rotate a little bit more so we're gonna click on it right of course then we want to actually like go back we're just gonna click it okay boom like that again click on it one space to the right it's like really boring work if you want to have a decent outro you need to put like decent work into it so it's not something you can fix in like one minute as you can tell so I'm just gonna uh, continue by rotating this so you guys can see it so you're going to put it like this and then you want to click on it again, one to the right, we'll like put it almost back straight like that, click on it again. Okay, so we made this little, we made this text shaky as you can see by the keyframes, but as you can see it's like really short and if you want to skip all the work you can just hold control and you can click on any keyframe and as you can see they get filled in that means they're selected we just want to press on every keyframe every single one what you want to do is press ctrl c that that copies it so you just want to click on this one one space to the right press ctrl v go to the last one one space to the right copy paste so as you can see we just copy paste and you see all those keyframes that can that can take that can take like a half an hour to do one of them so just go to the last one go to the last one this one Press one space to the right, control V, and let's see how it actually looks, how our text is shaking. So let's see what we made. So our text is shaking, as you can see, but it's really short. So you really have to just go back on this little white icon. Um, you just want to go back, go back to your keyframes right here, as you can see. Copy paste them, because like you need to, for like 20 to 30 seconds, you really need to copy and paste this a lot. So you just wanna spend like five to 10 minutes doing this instead of like an hour doing them one, one at a time. So just copy paste, as you can see uh, right here, click on the last one, one space to the right, control V, click on it, space to the right, control V. And now it's gonna be a little bit longer. So we're gonna see how it looks.
So that's actually pretty cool. So you can move the text from left to right. Basically, that's it for this video, guys. So if you find this video helpful and you want to see more of those Sony Vegas tutorials every Wednesday at 12 p.m. PST, that's 9 p.m. CET, feel free to leave a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. Feel free to subscribe down below for more videos. Yeah, you can go ahead and use keyframes to make your text go from left to right. You can choose whatever you want. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday for our next tutorial. Until then, I'll see you guys very soon. In about uh, four episodes, it's going to be the 22nd of May, and then I find something else. When I started using video editing software, it was like, I have my own Patreon page. You have fucking troll. Channelpages.com. Kind of nice weather. And I'm a tight with just Alex Alford. You know, yes. it's his channel, so that's a bit of a logic.